I'll, I'll carry with my uh, Okay, no, no, it's fine. Let me, let me, answer, your, let me answer your question. What? It's true to say that if you read the tafasir and the exegesis of what? chapter 64, verse 4, what? especially on the part where it says, lam it does mention women that are pregnant. It does women, mention uh, post-martin women, but it also does women, women that have never had a period before. That's right. true. And if someone tries to do in card of that or reject that, then they will be... And it mentions children as well. Well, I'm saying women, uh, women that have never had a period before. It doesn't say women. It says children. Well, well, Ibn Kafir clearly says it mentions well, well, children. Yeah, no, no, I, do you want me to read it out again? No, no, fine, fine, fine. I'm telling you. I'm, listen, listen to me. Allah the Exalted clarifies yeah. the waiting period of the woman in menopause yeah. and that it is one whose menstruation has stopped due no, to be, her be, older be, age. Uh, no, but do you know, can I finish? Do you know why it says oh, women? Can I finish? The verse says women. Can I finish? Can I just finish? Can I allow my place? Then you can... You talk, right? I'll, I'll give you all the time ahead, just, know, right. and that's one that is one of those who menstruation has stopped due to her old age her Ida waiting period for divorce is who's, three months who's, who's Ida? who's Ida? it's waiting period for divorce no but it says her Ida her Ida yeah who's, so who's her? referring to the woman in menopause Mo woman 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 in yeah, menopause yeah, yeah, woman and now, now let yeah. me read the rest of it yeah, right, yeah. Right? It is three months yet, yeah, instead yeah. of the three monthly cycles for those who menstruate which is based upon the ayat in Surah Al-Baqarah the yeah. same for the young yeah, yeah. who have not reached the years no, of no, menstruation, accept, accept, accept. Look, their Ida is three accept. months. I'm so you can marry and divorce children in Islam. Okay, let me answer your question, right? Oh, no, no, let me understand. Let me understand. First of all, the verse itself says, min nisa'ikum, from your women, yeah? Right. So women is, you've asked me where the woman, the verse itself mentions women, yeah? And this is mentioning young children, so you've all got right, a problem so with the early let me, let me ask you, then. yes, no, I don't have a problem you, with them. No, you, I don't. So you don't? No, I don't have a problem. So let when me, they say young child, let me, you, you, you are, are, are you asking me a question now? Are you are you just going to interrogate me? No, continue, continue, All right, so let me ask you a question, right? So it's true to say that Aq... Right. No, 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 it's fine. <laughs> it's true to say that Aqdun Nikah. Right. The Aqdun Nikah is a marital contract. Right. Can be done with anybody at any age. Of course, yeah. Yes? This is yeah. something which you didn't know that. But the sexual interaction... No, I did know that, mate. Okay, fine. Maybe you didn't know it. You're a great scholar of Islam. But you but, go on no, like no, you're a great okay, scholar, mate. Let's be that's fine, fine. Let's not crack words. No, fine, it's fine. Just just, no problem. Well, go on. So what I'm saying is, uh, uh, scholars of Islam differentiate between two things. Right. They differentiate between aqdun nikah, which right. is a contract, and when, for example, the woman can engage in, in sexuality. What, what scholars now, are these, bro? And let me tell you why. What the evidence for that? No, no. Is. What scholars are these? What scholars are these? For are example, they early, like Ibn Kafir, yeah, 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 the, 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 yeah, yeah. So yeah. What, what are these? For, Do you know uh, the names? Yes, can I, can yes. I write them down? Yes, oh, uh, uh, let, let me let me get you the names. Yeah. For example, uh, and Noah we mentions that in his Sharh of Hadith, where he mentions the Hadith of uh, why the Prophet Sallam married Aisha. He done the Aqdun Nikah at the age of six, and then he uh, consummated at the age of nine. What years after Hijra? Pardon? What years after Hijra? Uh, four hundred and something. I don't know, four hundred and forty maybe. Right. Yeah, after Hijra. I don't know exactly. Oh, yeah. Nawi was his name. It's a Nawi. Yeah. For example, do uh, you know who else mentions it? Uh, uh, for example, Ibn Qudam al maqdis he mentions it in his book. Ibn Qudam. Yeah, Ibn Qudam al maqdis he mentions it. So, but basically, the humble scholars. What I'm saying to you is this. It's pretty much understood in Islam what? that you can do a contract of marriage, but that, that contract of marriage is not efficacious in the fullest sense until the woman is able to uh, consummate the marriage. And that capability, which is referred to as istita' in the books of jurisprudence, is mentioned as you know physical capability. So yeah, so, so, no, so let me, not, let, let me explain. No, 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 it's a good point. Good. Jab, you did good. say. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, I know. Let me, let, let me explain. If you read the Quran on your phone, fine, fine, fine. You yeah, could accept. literally I accept. marry a child. I accept, I accept, I accept. That was your yeah, yeah, I accept. Right. So you could argue that you could argue the point that it's most explicit in the hadith. Why can you argue the point that it's most explicit in the hadith? Because it's the only mentioned in the hadith. No, no, it's, you, you know, it's, let me tell you why it can be alluded to in the Quran, but it's mostly mentioned in the hadith. For, for number one, the scholars of uh, Islam, the jurisprudential scholars, because right. really you have to differentiate between the exegetes and the juris, uh, jurisprudence. Yeah, fiqh and tafsir are two different so, things. So what's wrong with the exegetes? So, so, so no, there's right? nothing wrong with them. They're early. No, what they're saying is they're right. What, they, what they're what's saying... Wrong with them? No, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them. Right. I've not said that. Right. All I've said is that they're saying that the contract can be done, but that it's not efficacious in the fullest sense where intercourse between the two parties can happen until the, the woman is ready. So now, who, how do we know that? Who makes this stipulation? Who makes this stipulation? So they, like I said, the Islamic scholars, they deducted it from the fact that the Prophet So Muhammad Salam, and Allah don't make this stipulation? Yes, correct? they do. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Where's, where's Muhammad so, so as I said, they look at it from the fact, the scholars look at it from the fact that he married at the age of six, that, that there was a marital contract, but that he did not do uh, would you call it Jima? Or he, he did not do intercourse. So there was no intimacy until, until the three years. Nine. Exactly. Yeah. So they look at that and they say, "Well, that's good evidence so that even even though, even though no, it's not correction. The it's called specification. So it's, it's it's good evidence for the fact that the contract can be put in place. However, 
that it's not efficacious until the person becomes capable. Now, how do we know so, so who, who, who determines? Know, yeah, who yeah. determines whether she's good, capable? Good, that's a good because question. There's also had these claim question. that yeah. silence yeah. means her consent. Good. No, no, no. And and also, we've seen instances that. women hadith. I'm not no. misunderstanding anything. We see how instances women hadith. You know? How do you know? I know because I've read it. Right? We see What's the hadith? What's the hadith? We see instances of women hadith yeah, yeah. Where, where Aisha's taken by Muhammad and he beats her. Okay, so yeah, now that's a different that's a different topic. So if a we could, yes, I, I reject that. We obviously I reject that. You, re you reject yeah, I reject that. it. So yeah. you reject Hadith? No, I reject your understanding of it. Let me go back to the first so point. So being a touchy screen no. is my understanding, correct? Wallahi, if you find me any Hadith that says that the Prophet I dare you to find one single Hadith where the Prophet beat Aisha when she's green. You're a liar. You are a liar. The first, wait, hold on, hold on. Second thing is, wait, let's let's get to Christianity in a second, yeah? But let's no, just... We're not getting to Christianity. No, 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 no. Then we'll go to yeah, Christianity. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. I don't mind. Fine, fine. I'm, I'm no, let's, let, let's deal with Islam first because we don't have anything to hide. I'm saying to you now, the first thing is, you stated what is the evidence. I told you that the scholars of jurisprudence that say that... hundreds of years after the Prophet and your God, by No, way. no, no, but no, I understand, yeah. but it's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah. However, That's true. what's also so true... So there's nothing in your soul. If I took the Quran alone... No, no, well, hold on. The Quran itself says no, no. in chapter 15, verse 1, that it is a clear book. So if I, if I took the Quran on its own, I could literally okay. control new No, no, no. Religion. Hold on. Let me answer your question. Let me answer your question. Why is that me, point? No, no, That's your religion. No, 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 no. Fine, fine. Let's Let me answer your question. Your, your religion is no, 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 Calm down, guys. Calm down. I, I calm calm down, guys. There's nothing to. There's nothing to. Guys, you're, 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 you're coping, interfering. Coping, you're interfering and don't interfere, please, yeah? Let's answer his question directly. As I've said, the hadith is that. Number two hadith, which is very important, is that which mentioned the Noah's 40 hadith as well, which is Led Darar wa Led Dirar which is that you're not allowed to cause harm or reciprocate harm. Now, the uh, scholars of... Sunan and the side, uh, by the way. Uh, so, 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 continue, just, sorry. It's also mentioned in the 40 hadith, okay? No, no, no I'm talking about the, the striking hadith. That oh, oh, yeah, I understand. It's it's no, it's, it's, okay, it's, it's also mentioned as a Muslim. You didn't know that. You're, well, yeah, you okay. didn't know that. You okay, said, fine, show fine. me where... No, 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 not green. Recorded. Not green. It's recorded. Not green. There's nothing about greenery in the hadith. So, so, so he beat her, but no, nothing about green. No, I know a hadith... So it's okay if he beats her. No, I didn't say that. I said that the hadith that I know you're referring to is mentioned in the Quran. He beat his wife. I didn't, did I say that? So uh, no, 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 no. Hadith did I say that? I said okay, well, the people are watching your in, in disingenuity, right? I didn't say Where's that. I agree with you. How am I being disingenuous? No. Speak proud. properly. Yeah. Cat got your tongue, boy. Yeah, yeah. has it? Has literally got my tongue? Got your tongue. No, speak. No, I'll give you that. Speak. Indisingenuous. Right. I, I wasn't being indisingenuous. Okay, no, it's not indisingenuous. It's disingenuous. Yeah, I wasn't being. Okay, okay. So your disingenuity is for all to see. I wasn't being disingenuous. Okay, let me let me clear. All right, fine. Let me ask you a question. Fine. Let me ask you. Are you, are you afraid to hear my response? I'm not afraid of your response. Fine, let me, let me, I've got no response. Okay, go on. Okay, I've got my, if, uh, you're not afraid of my response, but I've got no response. You've got no response. Okay, so let me respond. My response is this, is that the scholars of Islam, they consider one of the major objectives of Islam as not to cause uh, or reciprocate harm unless there is injunction in the text. And who are these scholars? They're later than your prophet. So how no, no, can no, we know? They, they no, one, one minute. How can yeah, we know at the yeah. time of your prophet? Yeah. If we're at the time of prophet, yeah, yeah. how can we know that those yeah. main, same people yeah. believe yeah. that you had to wait a certain period yeah. to have sex with a child? Okay, they did Bearing in mind, you're no, no, a prophet. No, no, we don't agree with what you just said. Have sex with a child? No, no, we don't agree with what you just said. Listen, listen, we don't agree with what you just said. We don't agree with it. Let me answer your question. To answer your question, the scholars of Islam, they look at the what, like a shot to be mentioned in Muafakat, right? right. He, he says that in order to understand an objective of Sharia, you don't look at just one piece of evidence, you look at the combined pieces of evidence. So in the case of uh, this principle of uh, 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 causing or the, the principle of causing and reciprocating harm, it's not as a result he mentions, uh, of, or uh, the principle of darar yuzel, that uh, harm is to be averted. This is a principle in Islam. Unless there's enough. Who was that principle sent? No, I'm telling you. How so, can we so, know that it was sent from Muhammad? Okay, you ask me a question. Can I answer it, please? Go on, go on. Yeah, fine. Go on. So, Ashatu, we mentioned in Kitab Mufakat that, in fact, principles like this are more voracious than one piece of uh, evidence. And the reason why, he says, is because it combines all pieces of evidence. So, for example, in this case, there's a hadith of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu where he said himself. It seems like a load of words on it. Okay, fine. Maybe you don't understand it, but maybe yeah, I'll. You're not you're bringing do. any points. That's the point. So, let me just say my words and no, then you right, can say right, what right, you right. want. So, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he mentioned the hadith. La darar wa la dirar. There is no harming or reciprocating harm. Right. And he mentioned another hadith, la darar wala idra. So it's another, it's another way of saying the same thing, but with more emphasis on reciprocating the harm. So no bringing harm? Is that no, no, yeah, no yeah. reciprocating harm? Yeah, yeah. So why did your prophet no, harm I'm, I'm explaining to you that there's no evidence of that. I just no, no, shot no, 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 hold on, hold on. He said, hold on, hold on. so you Go were on. the black shape that I saw in front of me? And he said, yes. Yeah. He struck me in the chest, yeah. which caused me pain. Uh -oh. yeah. Then he said, did yeah. you think that Allah and his messenger would do on just yeah, 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 yeah. I don't. I said, whatever uh, the, the people conceal, he knows. Yeah, yeah. So I, so I shouldn't have the side. Fine, fine, fine. Too old. Okay, let me answer it. So you've been can exposed? Ask, no, I haven't been exposed. Let me, let me answer, let me answer, let me according answer to, it. According
First and foremost, you're and not helping yourself. First and foremost, Aisha herself, who's in the rate of that hadith, mentioned in another hadith. So that means it's wrong. Can you can you let me speak? Continue. Go on. All right. So Aisha, who's the rate of that particular hadith, yeah, right. who supposedly said he struck me in my chest to cause me harm, which I reject the translation of, yeah, because if you bring the Arabic, it's not darabani. He didn't mention that at all. The word Daraba is not even mentioned in the hadith, just to let you know. Let's just hide behind the Arabic. Just it's not hide, no, just calm down. Calm down. Just, calm, calm down. Arabic, just let me finish. First of all, the word You're not bringing any points. The word, it's just, like, it's just telling me you're oh, Arabic. You're not listening. See, now you're, you're starting. You can see what's happening here, right? It's okay. It's okay. Let him run. Okay, let him play it. I'm just asking still questions. Fall. He's still going to fall. Just so go on, go on, go on. Continue. I'm shaking. Are you prophet shook? Okay. This is okay. So you're trying to be disrespectful. We're not trying to be disrespectful. We're trying no, no, to no, point. No, no, it's fine. Hadith, let's, 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 let's 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 let me deal with the points. You're you going to another to tangential go, 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 point. Go, 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 All right, let's. Go to the point, first go. of all, the hadith inside Muslim, yes, what? is does not mention darabani, and I challenge you, which means hit to strike or whatever, which is mentioned in 434, the same word, fadribuhun. That's not even mentioned in the hadith. So I challenge you to find the opposite of that. Number two, it's not my problem. Uh, no, no, and then I'll give you that, something that which is a hadith. Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. The second thing, which is more even even more damning for you is that Aisha herself <laughs> yeah just let me finish the point I, I, finish I know I'm I know not talking. I, okay can you see I said I'm not talking can you see, can you see? he's anxious he's very anxious I'm really not yeah. this is the funniest stuff would you like a beta blocker would you no I'm all right I think you need one I'm not the one who's sound like a beta mill right now sorry I said you sound like a beta mill right now Beta, I said beta blocker means a propanolol. It's a, it's a, dr it's a drug that See, brings your heart rate down. I don't you know need any of that, mate. Oh, maybe you do. Okay, okay look, go you're go shaking go and sobering. So if, if Muhammad number two, you know, if Muhammad Muhammad let me finish. Let me, let, uh, only if there's an extraneous variable which, uh, which uh, substantiates the shaking. Oh, so revelation, him sweating and shaking. Yeah, yeah, he met God. You're meeting me. He met God. How do you know I'm not meeting God? He met a demon. How do you know I'm meeting God? He met a demon. How do you know I haven't got God inside? He met a demon. He met God. You're meeting me. How do you know that I'm not receiving revelation from my Lord? All right. How do you know that I'm not receiving revelation? Can we go to points? How do you know? Can we go to the points? No, no, you brought up the shaking. So, how do you know I'm not receiving revelation? Listen, you're running away. You are running away. You're the one running away. Okay, let me make the point. So, I'm saying you're profit shaking. Okay, no problem. No problem. So, he's no problem. Okay. So if he's not a problem, I'm no problem. See, so look cool. how he's talking. Okay, let's run right. the second, point. second point. He's running away. Second point. Second point is that yeah, Aisha herself said the prophet never hit one of his wives. No, never. He, in a hadith that's narrated upon her in Bukhari, she said that he, the prophet, never hit any of his wives. So the hadiths contradict each other. No, they don't because you look the word. Do they don't. He struck her. Okay, no. Let me explain. If your if your translation of the hadith, it's not my translation. It's Muslims, it's not me. Okay. I didn't make this Well, right. I'm translating the hadith Everything for you. I'm a Muslim, Muslim right? Wrong. The Irrelevant. Size, the You're one Muslim. Even this is a And it's a lot of Muslims. No, no, wait, 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 guys, guys, guys. Yeah? Even Sayyid al-Bukhari is wrong. There's many Muslims that disagree with you. Web sides are wrong, Sayyid al-Bukhari is wrong. So you, you're not, you're not, you're not a judge of jurisprudence over the Everyone can see the desperation in the air. You're not a judge. I'll let you squirm. You're not a judge. Please squirm. Muhammad al is not the judge of jurisprudence. Squirm in front of me. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Look how he's squirming. Look how they're both squirming. Hijab, hijab. How are you, sir? You okay? Hijab. Are you done? I'm not scared of you. Are you squirming? I'm not scared of you. You're quivering and shaking and you're squirming. I'm not of you. And your guy is getting you're you're shouting. Ever since I've come to this park for two years, and you saw me two years ago, right? I've always done this. I've always done this. I've done everything. And it's recorded. So I'm not scared of you. We're not all scared of you. Maybe these are all. I'm not scared of you. No problem. Are we done here? Now, continue with your point. So, my point is three steps. That is just to answer your question. Yeah, I, if your point is that if you look at the Quran alone, without reference to the Hadith, can you justify intercourse with uh, prepubescence, or would you have a stronger argument? I say you would have a stronger argument without the Hadith, but we don't accept the Quran without the Hadith. That's why we look at the Quran and the Hadith. So and, the Quran, I mean, upon doing wait, so, wait, wait, wait. what Hadith says that you cannot have sex? It doesn't that's not how the Hadith works? Just to let you know. No, the, so no laughing? hadith oh. says that you cannot have okay. sex no, with a minor. No, no, hold on. So hadith you said doesn't according say that. to the hadith, we, can, we cannot have sex with you. That's what you said. No, no, what I'm saying is the hadith works in the following way. It's not just like it. you have to have, for example, a, a saying. So the actions of the Prophet are also considered to be something that we, the Muslims, follow. The sayings of the Prophet, the iqrar of the Prophet, or what the Prophet affirms or doesn't affirm. This is what so is we can interpret our own traditions the way we want, and if we don't like something, we'll just reinterpret it. No, I mean, even you accept the same. Religion. Hold on, hold on. That's your religion. Calm down, religion. man. That's Calm down. Go on, go on. Go so on. anyway, so, uh, well, now you have to be disingenuous, right? I'm being disingenuous. That's just the same oh, old no, argument again. Okay. Again. It's not so, disingenuous. So now, now you no, interpret your religion. How just, you to, just want, to, and anybody who says yeah. it's pedophile is wrong and a Catholic. Okay, right? just to summarize the point. Yeah, we've said, you asked the question yeah, about on. chapter sixty-five, verse four. I didn't negate the fact. I did not negate the fact that some scholars of exegesis and hermeneutics have said in the past 
That is this refers to prepubescence. The ink of the Umar ibn Abbas said it. And, and listen, it was I, called I, the ink of the Umar for a reason. Sorry, the ink of the Umar ibn Abbas said it. Okay, right. Oh, Jalalain says it. Okay, Ibn Kafir no. says I, it. I, I, well, what did I just hear me say? So you don't deny that? I, I just said I don't deny the Would fact. Would you say they're wrong on that fact? No, I didn't say they're wrong either. You didn't say they're what wrong. What I said is the way this is to be understood what? is that there is a contract can be uh, can be done before, but that. The woman, when she gets to, to an age of puberty, now she has a choice. And the evidence of that is what the Prophet Asa Sam said, al bikru to set them. That the virgin or the person who's not been married before has to be asked permission before marriage. That's an evidence the Prophet's saying. So you've got a hadith for that, you? Yeah, it's called al bikru to set them. And I'm saying it to you in Arabic. Yeah, al bikru to set them. Uh, uh, which you mentioned before. What, what I need to do is like later, like show me a link Fine. or something, because I need that actually. No problem. Which is why, which is why I show Kenny and others. Have said okay, that you can just say it. We'll catch oh, it on. Anyway, look. Uh, just uh, say the reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've just, he's I've already said. He's already said. I've just, I've just said it. So for fine. So that's, that's number one. Number two, we've said now, harming is not okay. So someone can ask the question which you did and I didn't answer it. So let me answer it now. You said how do you determine if the person is able or capable for sexual intercourse? The Prophet Muhammad SAW said in another hadith, he said, "Man tatabba wa lam yakum bi tibi ma'roofan fa asaba nafsan fa wadamin." Whoever pretends to be a doctor and he's not actually a doctor and then he harms somebody, then he is accountable. The Quran also says, Fas'alu ahli dhikrin kuntum la ta'lamun. Go and ask the people of knowledge if you don't know. Meaning here, that Islam gives rights to doctors. Or, and That's specialists. nothing to do what I just no, no. said. That, of course it does. Let me tell you why. Was Muhammad no, a doctor? No, no, no. Let me explain, let me explain. Let me explain what I'm saying. Oh, because the question of harm, especially if we talk about physical harm, it seems to me to be a medicinal issue, right? So the question of, okay, if a, a person like, for example, she's 50, let's say in this country, the, the, the consent is 16 years old, right? Yeah. All right. You are maybe like 21 years old, right? 22, something like I'm that. I'm 27, mate. All right. You look young, yeah, which, is, which is very, very nice. Yeah. A strapping young man like yourself, you know. Please don't hit okay, on me. No, no, I am not gay. Okay, no problem. I'm not no. hitting you. That's, if that's how you interpret hitting on, that's fine. I'm, I'm joking. I'm okay, joking, no problem. No, no worries. I'm trying to give you, I'll pay you a compliment. I know, I know, I know. It's a bit, bit mean-spirited. Okay, no problem. That's, no, you don't need to apologize. All I'm going to say is that. A man like yourself, right? right? You, for example, can have intercourse with a 16 year old in this country, okay? Now, this 16 year old might be emaciated. This individual might be malnourished, might be weak. You might be able to grab her like this and then the collarbones fall, fall off, right? This might be a weak individual. Now, Islam would say, you know, although it's legally possible for you and, I'm not going to say me, but just anybody to have. <laughs> yeah, right. that, let me put it another way, right? You've got a 100 year old woman. Right. And there's no law that prevents me to have intercourse with a hundred year old. But once again, if I go to the care homes and wait outside and the, you know, and then do, no, no, honestly, and then I get, and I, and I get. a hundred year old know what sex is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so they'll be fully, comp they'll be able to comprehend what sex is. Yeah, yeah. They would know what marriage is. Fine. A six year old girl wouldn't know what marriage is. No, no, a nine year old girl wouldn't know what sex was. No, let me, In let fact, me explain. I no, was playing with dolls. Okay, now hold on, hold on. You're going from one thing to another. You're going really from one. Really not. No, no, it's all I'm saying to you all I'm saying, all I'm saying to you, the paradigm of Islam says this. If you have intercourse with a 15 year old, 14 year old, who is before the age of consent, but she's voluptuous and big hips and ready for action, where there's no harm. But then when you have sex with a 99 year old and you do it with her one time, she drops dead and goes to the graveyard. Islam would say, actually, one of them is more morally uh, incorrect than the other. And it might not Islam be, would say you that get silence so, is a consent. You could have sex no, no, with no, the old woman no, 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 and you no, could no, have no. sex with a 15 year old. No, it wouldn't. If, and in if, fact, if, it also if, says if, in your, if, in your if, hadith if, if, there, if, that anybody no, no, no. younger than and 15 is a child. No, listen, if, if, you, if, if, if by having sex, no, Islam would say, if, if by having sex with a 95 year old woman or a 80 year old woman, you're going to cause her considerable harm yeah, and or injury, which you would agree with, right? Yeah, that such a thing would not be allowed in Islam. I'm saying the same thing applies to women who are making their transition to puberty. Do you understand the Islamic concept now? So although, the co although legally, for example, if I wanted to have a marriage contract with a 95 year old, I can. I, I mean, it's, it's going to be valid. Now, the thing is, it might be valid, but the rights now that I'm going to be owed in a normal marriage contract are not going to be the same. I can't say, oh, you know, the angels are going to be cursing you if you don't give me uh, intercourse every night the way I like it. Yeah. So, it's, do you understand? So, so explain to me why Muhammad didn't follow these principles because he married. I'm a, saying a that Muhammad girl, is the one who established those her. principles. Here's what I'm saying. She had yeah. sex with her yeah. at nine years old. By the way, if you look in yeah. history, yeah. when, when nine year old girls or people, old, even if they're older than like 13, when they were pregnant, they would die. So, your God was okay with your no, prophet no, 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 having yeah, yeah. sex with a child we'll who could potentially well, he, die. He said, he, said himself, he said himself, and he's a man of his word. He said, the one we're done with, when we're done with Islam, we move to Christianity. I'm yeah, saying, mind, fine, he doesn't mind because he, he doesn't. But what I'm saying to you is, all I'm saying to you is as follows. That 
You said well, these principles, these principles were established by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Do you understand this? According to who? Now, according to all the fuqaha, according to the usul no, according all. to men who came hundreds of years later who didn't even yeah. know your Yeah, okay, no problem. So, what do you mean no problem? Yes, so, well, so your religion doesn't come from Muhammad, no, it doesn't come from my law, come on, it comes from people who existed hundreds no, no, of years no, no, later. No, no, but what I'm saying is, why, why that's important though, uh, what's your name again? My name's John. John? Yeah, John. So John, the reason why this is still important, it's because these individuals are not affected by Western apologetics or liberalism because they came way before. Uh, way before I'm not talking about Western apologetics. I, know, I understand that. God. No, but I'm saying. The, hold on, let me. Just I'm just one at a time. Morality, what, no, I'm say, what I'm saying to you is this: yeah. I am saying to you clearly that those scholars that came before time, it wouldn't have been socially unacceptable for them to make that proclamation in their times. So they had no motivation to lie upon the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in that manner. In fact, some of their some of their opinions, if we had brought them uh, to to the public, would be seen as uh, aberrational to say the least. The point. I'm making to you is that yes there has been a group of scholars that have interpreted the religion of Islam in the way that I've just said but what's the age of consent in Islam then what would you the consider the age of Muslim there, is a, there isn't an age of consent in Islam so why is it there's a hadith that's saying anybody who's younger who's younger than 15 is a yeah. child okay so, so the Malikis for example that's the upper limit not the, not the, uh, the higher limit right. so in other words for the Malikis there's a different opinion here but the, for example, if you look at all four madhabs, the, the Shafi'i, the Malikis, the, 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 the four madhabs of Islam, yeah, yeah. the Hanafis and the... Uh, and who else? Who, who did I mention? Hanbali, Hanbali. Sala is it Sala no, no, Sala no, And the Hanbalis, right? If you, if, you, if you look at all those, they have minimum and maximum ages. In fact, for example, uh, Ibn Qudama mentions, yeah, the minimum age is nine years old. Yeah, you can't be an adult, with, you cannot even be an adult before nine. That's the, the, that's the Shafi'i view and that's the Hanbali view. So, so that that's, that's actually more wicked than what your no, prophet no, no, is saying. No, no, no. Because your prophet is basically you can, saying you can, you anybody who's younger than 15 is a child. What, what, but this guy what is, that, is basically saying as well. Oh, no, no, let me explain. So, so, so let me, let me, do, I, do you want to speak properly or not? All right, yeah, okay, fine. So what I'm saying to you is this, is that in Islam, certain signs have to be in, uh, in place in order for someone to be considered an adult. Right. Now there's a difference between there's, there's a difference between taklif, when you'll be ac morally accountable in Islam right. uh, and because there's a hadith that says, uh, what do you call it, Rufi al qalim wa and one of them is that al-sabiyu hatta yahlub that the pen has been lifted on three people so there's an eschatological dimension which is that God doesn't hold to account children the pen has been, what do you mean the pen that Allah has an eternal that's next to him and that's no, this is more of a metaphoric expression the pen has been lifted meaning that they're not accountable, right? right. so the pen has been lifted on what, three pe sets of people, one of them is the young one until they become pubescent. Do you understand? Yeah. Now, you can be pubescent but not fit for marriage. That's what I'm saying to you. That I'm not saying as soon as someone can uh, do, does puberty, they're ready for sex and marriage. No, the hadith, you get there's it? hadith that say her silence equals her consent. Okay, let me explain that hadith because you mentioned it a few times. Her silence equals her consent means that if you ask her and she does not object, and out of shyness she's quiet, then that is, uh, that is uh, acquiescence. Can children be shy? Or mute? No, I'm not talking about if children. They're in a disturbing, I'm, I'm talking about children. Yeah, because yeah. Aisha was a child. That's a fact. Okay, that's what you're saying. No, no, what, no that's what, what Hadith is saying. Oh, what, is, what is a child? A child is somebody who's younger than 15 according to your religion. Oh, so no, no, hold on. According to my religion, it's not actually that. As I said to you. I, 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 no, 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 there's no hadith like that. Yeah. You heard him say that. No, no, let me no like, like can, I, can I tell you what the four things are? Or do you want to know? No, 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 I'm listening. I'm do you want to know or not? Well, I'm going to read this out. Do you want to know or not? I'm gonna no, no, I want to know. I don't go on, go on. Go because at the end of the day, we have to sharpen each other up. If this is the level of argumentation Hold that you're on, coming with. You told me that there was no hadith mentioning that those younger than 15 are too. There's no hadith like that. That's what you told yeah, me. There's no hadith like so that. I'm showing you it. It's not, it's not sahih. It's not, it's not authentic. It's not authentic. It's not authentic. Okay, then. Because that would have sealed, that would have sealed, that would have sealed the conversation. Oh, the the fuqaha have already told you that childhood ends at one of four things. One of three things for a male and one of four things for a woman. The three, the three things for a male are when there's, when there's pu uh, hair, like pu pubic, pubic, hair. pubic hair in the, in the areas and so on. If they have a wet dream, yeah. Uh, or... What's the third okay, one? so this is Sahih Muslim. The third, 1868. And for the woman, it's menstruation. Yeah? Right, so, so these are. Can I, can hold I get on, to the point now? Me, and hold basically, on. just can destroy you in this now. Can hold, I just do that? Hold on, let me finish. I mean, come on. I mean. Uh, let me, let me finish. You, let just, me, let me, you just lied to your own let, let me finish. Let, let me finish. So let me just Go read on, this read, out. Read the hadith. Right. Sahih Muslim, 1868. The Messiah of Allah inspected me on the battlefield on the day of Ahud. And I was 14 years old. Okay. He did not allow me to take part in the fight. He inspected me on the day of Kandak. And I was 15 years old. And he permitted me to fight. Nafi said, 
I am come. I, yeah. I came to Umar bin Abd Al Aziz, yeah. who was then caliph, and narrated this tradition to him. He said, "Surely this is the demarcation between a minor and a major." Yeah. What's, I, what, what is? A minor is being a child, and a major is being somebody's older. Yeah. What so is? he wrote to his strict governors that he should pay subsistence allowance to anyone who was 15 years yeah. or old, yeah. but should treat those of less yeah. age among children. children. Okay. Let me explain. Yeah. So okay. thank you. You okay. said I was lying. No, no, no. You said I was wrong. No, you, what you said? You what you said? By your own you, what, no, no, hold on. Can I explain? Sahih Muslim. So it's not even Sahih. What you? What you? What you? What you? What you, what you no, no. I've, I've already finished. Just right okay. Fine. You can leave if you like. No, 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 Steve. Okay, you're more than welcome to leave. No, because you've already proven that you've lied, basically. Okay, so you, said that the Prophet Muhammad, you said that the Prophet Muhammad Sallam said that anyone below the age of 15 is a child. The Hadith didn't say that at all. No, 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 it doesn't say that. 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 No, it doesn't. The Hadith does not. The Hadith does not. Let, no, sorry, excuse me. Excuse me. Seriously, Stop it. I've already read it out twice. Are you done? Are you done? I've already read it out twice. No, I'm not done. I haven't, I haven't started yet, actually. So right, let, let me answer you. Continue your point. The hadith, does, right. the wait, wait, wait. the hadith does not state, like you said on camera, and everyone can rewind it and play it and for their own leisure. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't say the hadith does not say that the Prophet Muhammad Sallam said in his words that anyone below the age of 15 is a child. The hadith does not say that. All it says was that you had these two uh, boys, who uh, one of them had reached the signs of puberty because of pubic hair and so on, and that there was an inference by Nafa and others, which I already told you, seeped its way into the Maliki school, where they accepted that the upper limit for, age, for the age of a child is 15. In fact, if you say that the age of 15 is a child's age, then that will be in my favor, because I'll say to you then, uh, the, then, then that will define the, the, the fact that no, you can marry the, Anyway, look, what I'm the saying The hadith is quoting Muhammad. He didn't say that, but anyone, did, did. what did he say? What did he say that? I've read it out before. No, the Messenger of Allah inspected me on a battlefield in the day of yeah. okay. And I was 14 years old. Right. He did not allow me to take part in the fight. Yeah. He inspected me on the day of Kandak. Okay. I was 15 years old okay. and he permitted to fight. Nafi said, I came to Umar bin Yatim, yeah. who was then caliph and narrated yeah. this tradition to So where does it say the Prophet said anyone below the age of 15? So what's the tradition, bro? You just said that you okay. Okay. Who, Did you understand who this? Who gives guy? traditions in this? Okay, one? you you have Wouldn't that be with all due respect, you have a comprehension issue here. No, I don't. With all due respect. Because you said that the Prophet is, said something. Words. This is what Muhammad said. What did he say? It's a tradition from him. He didn't say anything in that hadith. He no. said, surely this is a demarcation Who's between Who's he? Minor Who's and he? Major. Who's it's he? Not Umar it's not Umar. It's not that. No, it doesn't say nothing. Yes, it does, does say that. Read it all again. Read it all again, my friend. No, no, hold on. No, it again. He came to Umar. No, no, read the whole thing again. Well, read, read it all again. No, read it all again. Yeah, read, read it again. The Messiah of no, no, Allah no, me on the battlefield on the day of a hood. Yes. And I was 14 years old. Yeah. He did not allow me to take part in a fight. Yeah. He inspected me on the day of Kandak and I was 15 years old and he permitted me to fight. Yeah. Nafi said, so he's talking about Nafi now. Yeah, fine. I came to all my abs out. Are you going to let me finish the thing? Aziz, who was then caliph and narrated this tradition to him. Who's the tradition from? Muslims, answer the question. Who's the tradition from? Come on, please. Do no, me no, answer the question. Who's, no. the, who's the tradition from? Uh, the, what tradition? Where do you look get your traditions from? Uh, listen, calm down, over. Calm down, please. The, no, no, Ijab. Where do you calm get your down, traditions please, from? Calm down. You Wait, get them from are we, are we, are we speaking So Muslims get the their traditions from Muhammad. In that hadith, there's so no Muhammad word. Muhammad was saying. Okay, no, Muhammad didn't say anything in that hadith. So where did this come from? Okay, let me explain something to you, please. Yeah? yeah no, stop, stop doing this. Ugh. Just stop. Yeah. You're, you're showing your own desperation. You're desperado. There here. is no desperation, bro. You are desperate. What you are desperate. Said. Where do your traditions okay, come from? Okay, let me explain bro? something to you. If for, for something to be narrated upon the Prophet as something that he said, it would have to have key words. The words are like Samiatu, I heard from the Prophet, or Kala, or he said. None of those key words are there. So why was so, this? Why was this written down? As well. Why yeah. was this written down? Let me explain to you. This hadith, even in the English that you've read, does not say for all the GCSE students that are doing G uh, English literature comprehension. That's funny because you're not even GCSE level. Uh, okay, at this point. fine. Uh, yeah, I, I can, uh, you know, I can talk about that. No problem. It is what it is, bro. It's, it's not my fault. You don't understand. I'm what not the GCSE level. I tell my professors in that Islam you have tradition. When they gave me a most of you, most <laughs> a of your sources come from traditions. What are your qualifications, by the way? What's my qualifications? Yeah. Well, I'm a university student. I've yeah, only okay. told university now. Okay, because so you have not graduated yet. No, I haven't. All right, I've got four degrees. That's fine. So I'm higher than you, right? That means nothing. So why I you, didn't no, mean what? No, no, you, you, you just... psychology. Hold on, hold on. You I mean, that means nothing. No, hold on. You don't even know what I'm studying. Excuse me. I'm not going to tell you anyway. It has nothing to do with what I'm saying. saying. No, it is. What do you mean, excuse me? It has nothing to do with what I'm saying. You just said I'm just a C student level. So I have to prove to you that I'm not... Well, go come bring, bring the degree. You haven't improved anything. Okay, no problem. I'll, right. I'll bring them okay, next so time. Okay, so now, now can we get back next, to the point? Next thing yeah. is, yeah, we'll get back to the point. Because we're, we're just going on a Since tangent. I've now put you right, in your place. Now, he, let's move you on. Put me Where did the prophet say he it? He said. Where did he say it? He said, surely this who is said, the who, who, who's, who's between he? a minor Nefasad, and a major. Nefasad, Nefasad. 
Right, right. Bro, <laughs> bro <laughs> the tradition comes from Mohammed. Okay. Now you're now you're acting the fool. Either you are the fool or you're acting it, but I don't care. No, look, now let's move this on. This is your hadith. All right, fine. This comes from okay, your prophet. You, uh, well, so you unless it? unless people just write hadith no for the sake of it, no problem. And just okay, quote random okay. man I'm done. for no good John, reason. John, John, John. This comes from your prophet. Okay, fine, no problem. Thank okay. you very much. So if it comes from your prophet, it's not, he's not, your he, prophet he didn't say said, it. He didn't say that. You know what it is, what it is. But this hadith says that and those who are younger than... Doesn't say that. Well, the hadith says that. Doesn't say that. The hadith says no, those who are younger than 15 are children. That's what the hadith no, says. No, that's what Nafa said. The hadith says that. And what Nafa meant, like, like, like what, is the, what is the contemporary Maliki opinion, is that the, the upper limit for adulthood is 15. That's what it means. Now, we've Doesn't dealt, even say that in the verse, mate. Doesn't it's not even a verse. That. Just move on. You're, you're, you're wasting my time as well, like your friend. Well, seriously. I mean, yeah, you're, you're wasting you're, my time. You haven't okay. even got to the point. You have All you've done is semantics. I don't have time to waste. I've you've brought extra sources. All, right, All you've done is okay. tell me no I'm problem. No problem. And now, oh, so, I don't have a GCSE so, 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 or something. I don't even know what No, you just said that to me, actually, about the GCSE. Yeah, I did, because you brought up some wise crap about those who have GCSE, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. No problem. Can I ask you a question? John, fine. Can I ask you a question? Is your general argument like this, so I understand you and you understand me, yeah? Your general argument that it's immoral. Uh, to marry a minor or to have intercourse with a minor the prophet did it therefore he's not a true prophet is that your argument? well no it's not just that the, the other thing is your Quran clearly states that yeah, you can fine, divorce fine, a child fine fine so, so, so within, that's immoral and therefore Islam is wrong within the paradigm of Islam yeah, yeah, yeah. it's okay to divorce so, children therefore you can marry children so your argument is Islam is immoral fine so your, 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 argue, your argument is Islam is immoral yeah. because of this and therefore Islam is false yep Okay. Well, that's, that's not the only reason why it's on this No, I'm fine, but, but it's one of the reasons, right? Yeah, yeah, so it's a falsifier of Islam. It's a disqualifier of the truth, right? right yeah. All right, now I'll ask you a question. Since we've talked about Islam for a long time. You haven't answered any more questions. And no right? worries. My question to you is as follows. If you look at the book of Numbers, chapter 31, verse okay, 18. No, no, no. no, no you, you, can you, can you can run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. It clearly states. It clearly states that you can take the young girls for yourself. No, you can't. Okay, the, the, the Babylonian Talmud, okay, which Jews believe... I don't them care about the Babylonian Talmud on Christian. You do know this. In fact, you said the early church fathers don't say this, that the spirit is so, supposed to so what is it, with the father. So what does it say? What does it say about it? What, what does it say about it? If you look at uh, Deuteronomy chapter 21 verses 10 to 14, it's also mentioned, giving you general permission. Islamic no, Jew 22 clearly says. Well, 22, 21. Well, I'm talking about 22 because they're yeah. all in the same okay. context. Yeah, yeah. Jew 20, 22 yeah. says that you have to wait a month when you take a slave woman captive, not a slave girl, a slave woman captive. You have to wait a month. They have to pair their nails and then they'll be ready for marriage. And if, they, if for they're sex, not, for sex. Well, no, marriage. It doesn't marriage say, no, it doesn't say, it doesn't say that. Well, You're not, say, no, no, say, no, no, hold on. I'll show you. Go back to 3118, which you ran away from. Very clearly, the Bible is telling you, yeah, that you can take the young ones for yourself after you've annihilated the, uh, the battlefield. Now, if the general argument that he's put forward is that marrying prepubescence is something which disqualifies something from being the truth, then we've already explained. Where does it say you can have sex with him? Just let me explain. Let me explain. That, what, all right. Well, the Hebrew word that's mentioned is taf. Now, the, the, the word that you don't know the Hebrew language, you don't know the Arabic language. You don't know any language except for English. I don't know any language, apparently. Except for English. This is, this is the intelligence okay. of this Islam right now. Are we, are we, okay, now let's look at the Hebrew. The Hebrew script in the book of Numbers, chapter number 31, verse 18, it refers to the young ones as taf. If you look at any lexicon of the Hebrew language, as per what the rabbis themselves in the Talmud have said. What rabbis? For example, I don't, listen. I don't care what uh, some random what, rabbi said. It's not random. Go to my religion because I am a yeah. Christian. All right, I'm not going to a religion. Talmudic what? Jew. Okay, can I ask you a question? Bringing up these random yeah, the, Old they mean the Old Testament is written in one language. What do you mean? It's written in Hebrew. Okay, great. That means nothing. Great. Now, it, it means nothing. It doesn't Matthew mean anything. wrote his gospel okay. in Hebrew. Oh, no so problem. what you're saying means nothing. Well, hold on, hold on. It means something. Because it obviously for mean. us to understand the book, the Old Testament, the Hebrew Bible as the Jews, Jews call it, we have to read it in Hebrew. We have to go now, to the Bible. Now, what I'm saying to you is... You have to go to the Christian what church I'm saying to, to interpret the Christian what Bible. I'm, I don't care about random Talmudic scholars. I, no. I don't care about them. They're heretics. They believe that Jesus died in excrement. I don't care what they believe. No problem. Christian saying. scholarship says the same thing. And I can get you references. Wh which Christian scholarship says that I Jesus died in excrement? No, not that. I'm saying to you, Christian scholarship on this verse, in chapter 31, verse 18. Show me early church fathers. Hold on. Church fathers don't... Oh, hold on, hold on. Did you say early church father? Yeah, show me early church Oh, hold on, hold on. 
Early church fathers, you will not find exegeses except for a few of the Old Testament by early church fathers. Yes, and yeah, been wrong. He's so why you ask me to... Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. The reason no, hold on, hold on. is because you mentioned no, 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 you just no, said no, that... No, no. So what, what's no, no, early, whatever's early no, 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 I didn't say that. I said to you now, if you're asking me about an exegetical point, yes? Church fathers like Origen, oh, no, he's not even a church father, Origen of Alexandria. He did, he did actually write. Uh, but even if he we're talking about Augustine. He was a damn heretic. Uh, I'm just going to say it. No, we'll come fine. Ecclesiastic uh, church writer or whatever, yeah? Other ones. Yeah. You know, Tertullian, others. Right. All of these church fathers, you will not find many of them delve deep, deeply into no, no. The, the works of exegesis. Oh, no. Irenaeus oh. didn't, uh, Ignatius exactly. didn't. So only a, few, only a few of them do. So you're asking me to find you, it's like asking me about tafsir of, of, they haven't even done tafsir or the exegesis of that. Of that. early and apostolic. Okay, so why are you asking me to get me that? See? You're asking me to give me an exegesis. They didn't even do exegesis on this. It's like me asking you, did Ibn Kafir say this and you believe Ibn Kafir is at least early enough to know the people that knew your prophet. Yeah, yeah. but if, if you ask me about... Or Ibn Abbas, the ink of the Ummah, at least early yeah, enough yeah, to yeah. know the people. Oh, oh, I'm saying to you now, right. if you look at the Hebrew language, if you look at the verse, chapter 31, verse 18 of Numbers, you look at what words are used, which is taf, the young girls for yourself, lachem, like young girls, taf, lachem. Have the young children for yourself. It's about so you can have sex with the young children for yourself. It doesn't say sex. Okay, so let's read it out. Take one But all the women children that have not known a man by lying with them, him, keep alive yourself. What does it say? Women children. Women, chi women What's children. What's a woman children? Oh, women children, huh? What's a woman children? Numbers. Women children. Girls. That's what it means. No, no, no. Women children means girls. Young no. women. Numbers. Yeah, yeah. Young women. Yeah, yeah. tough. Young women, oh, you didn't yeah. hear what I said, did you? Children. Young, it doesn't children. mean children. children, young women. In fact, my Bible says that a, a girl what's your Bible? who's 12 was a child. What's your, what's your Bible? It's KJV. Yeah, okay, fine. But if you look at, for example, there's more than one Bible, yeah? So you have to once again look at the different translations. Again, this is going off. Nevertheless, let's go with yours. Let's go with yours. Let's go with yours. It says children there. In the Bible, it says children there. Allow me to finish. So your God, your God allowed children to be raised. It says in Luke, right, that a girl at the age of 12 was a young girl. That's why Jesus says, Taufia Kuma, young girl arise. She was a child at the age of 12. This is the Islam, this is not Peter. All right, here, here, here we go. You're, you believe that Jesus is part of the Trinity, correct? Oh, why are we going with the Trinity now? Okay, no, no I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna you, relinquish. You, you literally just started talking about numbers. Okay, do you want to have a conversation? You just had you made your point. You're you talking about. Are you scared? 18? Are you scared of my response? Why are you scared of numbers eighteen? Are you scared Was it because I said it? Are you, are you scared of my response? I'm just scared of you talking. Yeah, but your, your <laughs> response is gonna be a long argument. So look how many of you are needed. No, but I'm gonna say. No, no, he came over. I know he's an argument because God didn't instruct Moses to say that. Okay, no. Whatever you say, that was from God. Okay. So let me let me just debunk this right now. It says in Deuteronomy. Can't debunk it. No, it's, it's easy. It's easy, right? And it's equal God, Your God, your Jesus. Excuse me. Excuse me. Have you heard? Let me. Secret secret? Your Jesus, who you believe is God, who's, the, who's also the author of the Old Testament because he's part of the Trinity. He said to the people in Numbers 31:18, "Take that? the taf, the young girls." Correct taf, it was young women. Young girls. It was Moses and it was young women. Young women. Girls. Young, women. young girls. Young girls. girls. Said said that. Young women. Girls. It says young women in the verse. Rape them. Read, read the verse. Take them. You are such Take a liar. Them for yourself. Read, you are such. Take them for yourself. Read, 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 read the verse. Take them for yourself. Why are you? Now. You are literally like lying. Why are you? Because God never how could said you, that. How could your God allow this? You are lying. How could your God allow this? How could your God allow this? He never said in the verse. How could your God allow this? Doesn't say that in the verse. How could your God allow this? Your Your God allows. How could your God allow this? One minute. How could your God allow this? How could you go the ladder? Brother, don't don't go look. Talk to me, Hijab. Talk to me. Why are you going over there? Talk to me. What? The verse doesn't actually say. <laughs> Look at him. How can you go okay, the ladder? I'll, I'll do that as well, yeah. I'll, I'll do that as well. Even though I'm not six foot five, but I'll do that as well, right? Scrumming. I'm trying to stand out, that's why, because it's because it's true, Can I ask you right? a question? Can I ask you a question? What? You've got your own interpretation of the verse, okay? Correct, it's yeah? The, well, it's Which is, oh, okay, fine. Your fine. interpretation is different to mine, correct? Well, of, I was actually going to go for the no, Bible no, to okay, interpret the Bible. But John, John. Because you should I, let I, scripture okay. interpret scripture. Let me say something. That's why it says in Deuteronomy 22 that you are to now marry a woman. John, 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 Bro, just give me a second, yeah? You have a different interpretation to those rabbis, correct? Of course, the heretics. The heretics, you have a different interpretation, correct? All right. The issue is not your interpretation or their interpretation. The issue is that can it be in a scholarly way, which is in line with the Hebrew language, interpreted in a way that would allow such a thing? I'm literally your, going through the Bible. Hold, hold, on, for what it hold says. on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. It Let me finish. Young Let me finish. If you might not look at the Bible and think of all these things, taking the young girls for yourself means. Take them and do whatever you want no, with them. Defile them. Pedophilia, Desecrate them. Deal with them. 
Put, pry their your legs open. Put your penis in them. Assume pedophilia. Cut their, you know, all that stuff. That's what you're really teaching. Saying the Bible and so on. Okay. Okay. Young so girl. If, so if, so that's what you're really. Yeah. I, hold on, hold on, one minute. What I'm not saying is what you're saying. You're saying the verse says had sex with him, but nowhere does the verse say that. Say that. Yeah. Okay. He just. Yeah. So you're assuming pedophilia, yeah. and then maybe that's because you're 31. I don't know. But as far as I'm concerned, the Bible. I do have. I do have. I do have a dirty mind. The Quran, I do have a dirty mind. Abortion. Yeah, of course. Because Islam teaches that. I have to listen to this guy all the time. I have Islam to have a dirty that. mind. What do you mean all the time? I've only spoken to you today once. Listen. The last time I spoke to you was two years ago. Why are you putting words in the Bible that okay. are I mean, not come there? On, bro. Okay, let's, let's, let's get back to the point. Right. Let's get back to the point. Yeah, go on, do you, go on, do you agree with me that the Bible can and has been interpreted in a way which would indicate that young girls can be taken for sexual purposes? Yes or no? If the Bible's interpreted in many different ways. Can no, it, be, no, no, can it be interpreted like that? Yes or no? Arius interpreted the Bible in different ways in a, as well. In a, scholarly, in a scholarly way, which is in line with hermeneutics in language. Yes or no? Does the Hebrew term, taf, can it be, ex can it be explained as has been? Can it be explained as take these girls and have sex with them? Yes or no? No. Okay, so then that because case later oh, in great, Deuteronomy, great. In that case, later in Deuteronomy, yeah, yeah, God says or yeah. Jesus says that you must marry a woman. You are not to lay down with them. That's you right. must marry a woman. Anybody, That's in right. fact, it says in Deuteronomy 22, 25, that anybody who takes hold of a woman and rapes her, right, would receive death. Get me the verse, please. Okay, go, go, just read it out. Read out because now this is this guy is known for this nonsense, yeah. I'm known for this nonsense. Do, do me a favor before you read. I'm known you, for this nonsense. No, no. Right. Do, do me a favor, John. John, 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 for this John do me a favor before you read out. What is it? 25, yeah. Can you read out 22, 21, 10 to 4, 15? Can you read that out as well? Right. Can you, can you do that for me, please? Yeah, I'm just please. Before you said marrying, so are you, you saying? Now let him read about. Are you saying Islam doesn't allow? No, no, I'm not. We already spoke about Islam for, for what, half right, an hour. Let's read minutes. it. Yeah. Because obviously he wants to get away from. Did he say? No, we spoke about it. We spoke about it. He didn't answer. Yeah, he didn't answer. You're scared of your Christianity. No, no, no. I'm here talking about it. Come on, read the Bible. Read the Bible. Then shall they bring out the damsel to the door of their father's house? What's this? What verse is this? You said Deuteronomy 22, 21. No, no, 21. Chapter 21, yeah? Verses uh, 10 to no, 14. No, I'm going to 22, mate. I don't know why you're going to 22. No, no, I want you to read that first. No, no, I'm reading the Bible in context, mate. I'm not just reading everything. I know, but can you read this bit first and then read your bit? Is that right? What does it say? Oh, well, I'm going to Don't be it. scared, it man. It doesn't refute anything I've got oh, to no, say. No the Bible says. Just, just read it. Maybe it's your interpretation, but Just read it, bro. So 21, what? So 21, 5. Okay. Just 21, read. 21, 5, did you say? No, I said 10 to 15. 10 to 15, all right. Please when thou goest forth to war against thine enemies, and the Lord thy God hath delivered them into thine hands, and thou hast taken them captive, and seen amongst the beautiful women, and as a desire unto her, that thou wouldest have her to, to thy wife, say to thy wife. Say it properly, please. That I'm saying. No, 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 because you said it in a bit of a muffled way. So say it again. That thou wouldest, because I'm speaking KJV right now. Yes, yeah, fine. Wouldest have her to thy wife, not to have sex with her immediately, but to thy wife. Then you shall bring her home to your house and she shall shave her head and pair her nails and she shall put off the raiment from of her and shall remain in thine house and bewail her father and her mother a full month and after that thou shalt go in what verse unto her what well, verses the verses you just described no that's fine, fine. I just want to know for, for, why, are you, why are you getting upset for it's because you keep asking me what verse I'm no talking. I just want to know what, what number you are now okay I'm on I'm on 12 so I'm on verse 12 beautiful right? yeah go on and I'll read it again yeah then thou shalt bring her home yeah bring her to home. thine house to the house and she shall shave her head shave and her head her nails yeah because she's in mourning she's shaving of her course. head and her nails. Right. of course and she shall put off the raiment of her captivity from off her of course and shall remain in thine house and bewail her father and her mother a full month obviously because of your, your mourning of course so yeah of course and after that thou shalt go in unto her meaning what and be her husband. So you be her husband. What does in unto her mean? No, but what does husband mean? Have what sex. does husband mean? Have, have sex. Husband. What? husband. It says literally here. Yeah, yeah, I know, I understand. That thou husband. wouldst have her to okay, be John, unto thy wife. John, I'm asking you a question. Well, who is this referring to? It's referring to captive women. Captive women. Yes. So now when she's this captive, you've got a captive woman. Just tell me if this is right or wrong. You've got a captive woman. You take her to your house, to thine house. Yep. To die in house, yes, beautiful KJV. Yeah, and you be her husband. No, no, no. And you be her husband. I have it. No, because she's your wife. Husband. As it says bro, here. Bro, let's take it step by step. Let's do what the Bible says. What, 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 what the Bible says. What the Bible says. No, it said, it didn't say that straight away. It said, you take the captive and then you tell you the captive to cut the nail off, correct? To cut the nails. To pair her nails, because that's what they did traditionally. I know. And then shave her hair. Yeah, shave her hair. I'm asking a question. What if she doesn't want to do any of that? I doesn't really famous. 
That's a good. It doesn't say you okay. force her. No, no, no problem. Can you show me where the verse says you force her? No, no, I'm, 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 I didn't no. say I'm asking you a question. I believe that it was, allow me to finish. So I believe it was traditional custom at the time for people in mourning to shave their hair. Well, if hair most women I know don't want to shave their hair, all right? Do you agree right. with that? Do you agree with that? I agree with that. Would you agree with that? I, we're, we're not Israelites, no, no. bro. I would agree with that. Everyone's Most history. women here don't want to shave their hair, correct? I, I agree with that. We're not Israelites, bro. But this is, again, this is a cultural norm of a. Uh, this is a cultural norm of, of Israel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Middle course. East. And so now you got a ca you got a captive. And now he's the woman. No, no, excuse me. You got a, you got a, you got a captive. But it's like me. No, no, excuse me. Excuse me. If, if you're a slave, no, let me finish. And you have a husband, Let's just read the Bible, man. How many don't be scared of the Bible. Don't be scared. Why are you putting words into the Bible? I'm scared. We can. Wait, wait. I'm actually reading it. We can answer him, but I'll throw that question back. No, no, hold on, guys, 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 please, because I want to. Because I was having a conversation in the first place, right? Don't scrum, man. You're calling out the same problem. Stop scrumming. For example, it says in Surah 2. Stop doing too quickly, fallacy. Deal with your Bible. Like I do. Deal with my Quran. I didn't mention the Bible. Wait, wait, wait. Can you deal with the Hadith? 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 Didn't I? Yeah, I didn't mention on. the Bible once. It says in chapter 4, verse 24, in order that you can to take captive so, women, and, and to defend the even if they're married, to defend the Bible, fact, you have your to go prophet for the went on an expedition to Ortos, which is in so the So you need East, my book right? to defend yours? It's not your book, it's Hadith. You need my book to defend yours? Hadith, mate. Is that your book? You need, yeah. Okay, it's book. then, Yeah, so you're using my book to defend yours. And they took excellent women, and they had sex with them without marriage. Okay, no problem. What this Bible is saying is that you need to marry women. No, 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 Ash, let's see what it says. Okay, I'm wrong. What it says is that... You're being a pride and high mark, that's fine. You're wrong. So what it says there is that you can take the captive women, they cut their nails, they shave their head, they can choose to, yeah. They wait one month, right? Yeah, one month. Then you don't have sex with them. Yeah, you don't have sex with them for a month. Yeah, but your prophet did. He had sex with women straight away. No, they, no, he didn't. And that's the difference. Yes, he did. We can go to the no, hadith. You're he scared of the Bible. That. That's why you go to the hadith. No, you're scared of hadith. That's uh, why no, you want to I dealt with the hadith for 15 minutes. No, you, you haven't. Didn't deal with it. You didn't deal with that. I didn't mention Bible at all. I didn't mention Bible at all. All you did was prove my point that Islam allows pedophilia. That's all you did. This is a broken record for us now. You're literally boring. It was a cult person you were coping, and the only argument you had was, oh, later scholars said this. So your whole religion is based on what other men who didn't know your prophet said. No problem. Thank you very much. Some random man just come to the bench. That's your strongest argument. Now look, boy got a hadith that he's going to deal with next. All right. So you're not going to deal with any of my points. No, no, no. I'm. We're talking about you said it yourself you said after we deal with the quran and hadith let's go to the bible we spent 45 minutes of quran and hadith now well, we're talking about the bible going to the hadith Jewish again which have nothing to do with my religion that shows you you need our quran even to defend your own book not really no you need it so much don't you no your paradigm is the quran your obsessed with the quran your paradigm is the quran you're obsessed with the quran so i'm using that demon and you're obsessed with muslims that you're obsessed with us that you're admire us are you jealous don't you jealous? I don't want to see this question. I think you're jealous. Why are you talking yeah, about the Quran? We're, we're jealous of the Bible. We're jealous of the book of pedophilia in the Quran. Yeah, well. We're jealous of that. Okay, Even you admit it's pedophilia. No problem. Even though the Quran says itself okay, that it's a light to all men yeah. and it's a clear <laughs> guidance to two. And also it's clear. Okay, you go. The book is a clear Arabic. We mentioned the Quran. Are you scared to talk about the Bible? So your own Quran. You're scared to talk about the Bible. You're scared to talk about the Bible. You're scared to read the Bible, aren't you? It's the same argument. He's scared. He's scared to you even read his own book. He is scared yeah. to read his own book. God is saying it's clear. Ordains pedophilia. That's what we got. So after after, after a month, Quran, after you uh, let me ask you a question. You're a Christian. I want to ask you he and you. Yeah? You ask me a question. Muslim, can I ask you a question? A question. I've already answered your question. I want to know a question. Are you scared of answering? I've already answered. Have you no question? Don't like the answer. No, I want to ask you a question. So I want to see if I answered it correctly. What? Deuteronomy chapter 20? Oh, this is boring, man. Okay. What, what, okay. No, but it's boring when we go get to the juice of the matter. No, it's boring when you're not bringing a point. Okay, let me ask you a question then. What? My question is, my, from my understanding of our reading of Deuteronomy chapter 21 verses 10 to 15, is that when a man right. goes into war and there are captives, women captives, right. and you find them, you get the captives, you don't say to them, would you like to come with? No, you take the captives. Your captives mean they're prisoners now. Yeah? Of course. Actually, so, Israel okay. did that. Excellent. And your prophet did it as well. So, oh, it no, so okay, great. And you're in no so, so you should, position, mate. So you should have no problem. I've got no problem with the Old Testament. So you should have no problem. This is New Covenant. That's my New point. Covenant, New Testament. Don't have a problem. The prophet did it as well. Anyway, your prophet took cats as well. No, so I, I don't know. My don't, God I don't, I don't never I said you are the right women. women. I don't your God said you can. Well, yeah. Your God said you can. So after he's taken the captives. We're not talking about we're talking about the Deuteronomy now. Your God said you were women. So well, I'm, 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 I'm saying to you, if you're going to be morally consistent, let's look at your book. That's what I'm saying. All right, so so. If we go to Deuteronomy chapter 21, verses 10 to 15, it says clearly that you take this woman against her will. She's now a prisoner. Yeah, she's a captive. Yeah, she's a captive. Good. Now I like it. Now you're talking the truth. 
Now you're being sincere. No, no, said... Now you're being ingenuous. Now you're being authentic. Now you're behaving and yourself. And you was offended the whole time. Now you're behaving yourself. No, no, That's no, funny, isn't it? Now you're behaving yourself. You wasn't offended the whole time. Now he's behaving himself, Paperboy. Why don't you isn't he behaving himself? Right, he's behaving. Yeah, Could you stop patronising me and get to the point, please? It's really No. He's behaving oh, no. himself. Yeah, so you don't want to talk about the Bible. Okay. Okay. You said I was running from the Bible, and now you don't want to talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay, let's talk about it. So, 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 I'm disingenuous. Okay, I'm fine. We take the woman now. Against her will, as a prisoner, as a captive. Right. Now you sh you take her home. She's crying. No, I don't want to be here. Please, shut your mouth. That's why you're profiting. Wait, hold on. Shut your mouth. Wait, hold on. Literally did it. That's the clever. What is wrong with that, bro? Your prophet did it. You don't shush her. Let me finish. Let me finish. All this theatrics is not helping your religion. She's wailing. She's crying. Her whatever. No yeah. problem. And I should be waiting and crying when Mohammed took her and raped her. Yeah, well, well we're, do, we're dealing with one thing at a time. We've well, already we're dealing with, with one thing at a time. You you can't it's it's okay for one rule for he's D triggered. and another rule for me. Here's See how he's triggered. Is Islam, See how it? triggered you are? Double standards, oh, isn't it? She's crying, begging. Yeah. I want to go home! I was crying. No. Please don't touch me, Mohammed. There's, there's, there's no such verse. Yeah, because she's a baby. Oh, she? She was a baby. Why are you talking about your mum? My mum? Yeah, your mum, yeah. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. There's no verse like that in the Bible either. This is what Muslims do. There's no verse like that in the Bible either. You've been fishing just to give her. Yeah, but there's no verse about crying people either. So you've been out. My mum's a beautiful woman, mum. Yeah, okay, give her my number. Give her my number. She has an ego number. Yeah, but let's... You're ugly. She won't want to touch you. Let's keep to the actual people. Anyway, give her my number. And hijab, I'm not going to stoop to the level. I'm going to say your mother's a beautiful... No, no, hold on. I'm going to say your mother's a beautiful woman. Good, yeah. She's well, a really beautiful woman. Well, I've said the same what? thing about yours. Let me see a picture. No, no, you said my wife's ugly. Show me a picture. You said my wife's ugly. Can right? I see your mum? You don't need to see your mum. I want to see your mum. She's I'll beautiful. Let me see. Can I see your mum? Your mother's a beautiful woman. Can I see how she looks like? I'm saying that. Your mother's a beautiful woman. Can I see your mum? Can I see your mum? You don't need to see my mum. I want to see your mum, please. You don't need to see my mum. Why are you winking at me, bro? There's something wrong with you. I want to see your mum. You don't need to see your mum. Moving on. The, the mum jokes are not helping you. Yes, all I, you I like do it. Is, all you're doing is no, looking like a toddler. You no do realise that. Okay. So I've the Bible stuff says, in year two. Bible you did, says, you Bible realize says that. you take now the woman against her will. So you're back on the topic? Yes, we are. So why are you talking to him then? He has nothing to do with the topic. Logic. You're talking no, to me. Fine. Focus on me. Fine, no problem. I'll okay. focus on you. Good. And if you like, I'll focus on your mum as well. I'll focus now, on yeah, your mum as well. Yeah, you can try. Because I, I like you've your mum. You've, you've, you've already spoken about your my prophet. Anything woman. above that is not, is, is none, is none no, of no, it at all. No, no, I don't care. Your mother's a decent woman and I like her. I don't, yeah? you don't even know what she because looks like. Because I'm not, I'm not she, might be, she might be a Hitler. Oh, so she's a Hitler. You believe your mother's Hitler? Did you believe your mother's Hitler? Did I say that, yeah? You actually believe that? So you take now, the captive is taken. Wow, that's perfect. Take the captive. By yeah, the hand. Like, like yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Now she's screaming, she's wailing. Now you tell her, shave your hair off. You got nothing I don't else. want to shave my hair like my lot. Shut your mouth you and you shave your hair. The Bible doesn't you say she was forced okay. to do any kinky stuff going on. Come on, hijab. You well, have you got a whip now? If the Bible nowhere says the that you are to force women to shave their heads, right. you've got that wrong. You assume that's what, what it says what in the verse. What if she says no? It doesn't say that in the verse. But it says that if the... What does the Bible say about... Oh, excuse me. What does the Bible say about disobedient slaves? No, What's the Bible oh. says? Which verse? Which verse? Go to chapter 7. I don't what know what's the, funny, bro. What does the Bible say about disobedience? You'll find something funnier than What can you do to a Bible, to a, to a slave if they're disobedient? If you tell them to you do something. You can be a slave, yeah. You can be the slave. Well, oh, thank you very much. So now the Bible here, the, the, the captive, she's being disobedient. Yeah. You but take your whip out. Those were for Hebrews only, so. Spang! Yeah, Hebrews only. Not aliens. Spang! And you would have to free Hebrew slave in seven years. Okay, I'll cut my hair off. And that's what Muhammad did to Aisha. She should do what you're, do, you're about to do with Aisha, your hair. Cut Aisha your hair off. was beaten by Muhammad. Now ask her a question. Was beaten by so Muhammad. what's the point? When your hair was cut, part of it is cut, part of it is not cut. For little girls to be taken well, and raped by process. her prophet. Okay. That's what happened. Now, after she's now one month in the house, we're sure that she doesn't you're, have you're any... You're not bringing a point here, Jack. No, that's why I'm trying to understand no, the no, Bible. No, no, you're assuming what the Bible says. I've already okay. read what it says. What does it say? I went to... After a month, what can, you, what can you do after a month? You can marry the woman. No, can you do something else? You can have sex with someone you've married. Okay, beautiful. Because she, she becomes She's a wife. slave that has had her hair shaven off. And then after a month... And her, and her nails cut. And after a month... And you now you can defile her the way you like. No, you can't. So let's go to the verse again. What do you think about that? Do you want to think about that? Yeah. Do you well, that, like, that morally abhorrent? abhorrent? You coming from some kind of what do you higher moral... Don't ignore him. You uh, coming from some... Ignore, ignore him, bro. Oh, what? Ignore him. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? The theatrics. What do you think about that? People are listening. The Bible doesn't say that. We don't need that. We don't need the theatrics. Stay with you. 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 Stay with
Yeah, you would have sex with him. Done. The moral argument that this man has put forward. This guy has not brought any I'm, argument I'm, I'm to done, my point. I'm, I'm done with you. You're done with me because you're scared. You didn't want to go to the hadith. Your prophet. You literally admitted on camera that it's okay to have sex with children. That's your religion, bro. No, no. So now you're just copying. Are you are you here to give me your mum's number? No, no, no. I'm here to give you. If you want, can I have your mum's number, please? Can I have your mum's number? Oh seven. Can I have your mum's number? No, sorry. I want yours. Show me a picture. What should it look like? She, she's not interested in you, mate. Like, maybe let's find out. She's not interested. Let's find out. She's not interested. I want to find out if your mum will be interested. Right. So now you're doing mum jokes. Is that it? No, yeah, mum. You've got. You're talking about prophet and religion. Religion was created by Peter. Talking about your mum. That's why we're talking about mum jokes. With the people of the scripture, unless it's a bit fitting. And if I have a child with your mum, he won't come out like you. You're a funny guy, bro. You're a funny guy, bro. Oh, your prophet was shaking. Your prophet was shaking, though, wasn't it? Your prophet was shaking. He shook when he received revelations, didn't he? That's what maybe. I know it hurts, bro. He shook when he received revelations, didn't he? He was shaking and he was yeah, sweating. Yeah, 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 I'm scared, aren't you? Why? You huh? I'm, I'm scared of you. Scared, yeah. I've never been scared of anybody. I'm a father in law. Really? I'm going to be your father in law. I'm going to be your daddy, mate. I'm your father in law. I'm your father. You know, like Sarah said to you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, your, I'm your daddy. I might be your father in law. I'm your daddy, bro. Yeah, and yeah. deal with your mum in a very nice way. Don't worry, I'll do it. I'll deal with your mum in a very nice way. I'll buy her food. I'll take her out. Yeah. Anyway, I'll buy a drink. Take her out like it says in the Bible. Well, it's a nice conversation, with Jab. I'm sorry it turned out like this. Yeah, he said to suck out and shut. That's what he's talking about. He's got to turn them off. I thought you went, so you could talk to the camera. You said for your mum. You could talk to the camera. No, no, don't you. Yeah, we're done. You want to talk about my mum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's scared now about his mum. Freedom of speech. Yeah, you want to use Yeah, you can say what if you want. My mother's a beautiful woman. I don't care. Well, let me see that. You don't need to see, see your mum. You don't need to see me. I want to see what she looks like. I want to see your mother. No, it's you okay. Show me? I'll show you mum. Is, is this what we call intellectual discourse? You don't need to see The Muslims here are listening to people inciting. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to see I'm saying. Unfortunately, Hijab has decided to insult my mother because his religion was started by a That's all it is. No, it's what they do. You're watching. No, it's what they do. I'm saying. We attack their mum. That's the new. I've already won. Bullshit! Bullshit!